realm of democratic dispensation, people's choice comes first. This is why the periodic election becomes an enabling environment for the electorate to exercise their franchise for the candidates of their choice at the various political seats of federal, state and local government level. <laughs> It's through this legitimate means that the people of Kaduna State found the able hands of their son, Senator Ubasani, the current gubernatorial aspirant under the All Progressives Congress APC. As known to many, capacity is what boosts the quality of any aspirant, and evidently speaking, this was what paved way for the emergence of Senator Ubasani as the senator representing the people of Kaduna Central Senatorial District from 2019 to 2023. Distinguished Senator Romano Ubasani, as we are all aware, uh, has been part of uh, this government. And as a serving senator, we know the impact he has made, especially in uh, passing so many bills that had a direct positive impact of the, uh, in, peop in the lives of people. He had contributed a lot in the development of Kaduna State. I want to give a typical example of the developmental projects he did in my local government area. He constructed a block of maternity uh, uh, hospital uh, block in the Jibrum Mewari General Hospital, a well-equipped block of uh, maternity ward, as well as equipping um, our school of uh, uh, basic uh, science in Mirunungwari with over 150 computers. There are a lot of areas he had uh, uh, contributed in development of uh, the lives of the people. This mix of experience and uh, dedication to service, uh, I'm sure uh, by the time they are elected into office as governor and deputy governor come uh, 2023, they are going to uh, be a role model and their performance is going to be above board. Hailing from the center of learning Zaria, Senator Ubasani was born in 1970 and was molded to become a mechanical engineer. He also earned a Master of Science degree in Finance from University of Calabar and eventually a postgraduate diploma in Business Administration from the University of Abuja. As part of his administrative competency and his compassion for human services, this gentleman protested against military authoritarianism in Nigeria, leaving behind a footprint of bravery and patriotism. He also made ample use of his civil society organization, the Movement for Freedom and Justice, to champion the rights of the underprivileged and offer them autonomous access to justice. Uh, this is a very wonderful combination. We give all glory to Almighty Allah for making us to have these two people as uh, the candidates for the governorship of the Lula State Camp 2023 under the platform of our group party, the APC. At the same time, we thank His Excellency Malan Nasser and Makaru Fai for this important choice that we have made for the Lula State. All of them are, are product of the Eru Fai School of Thoughts and we are sure that at the end of the day there will be continuity in the system towards the good things that Nala Nasu Amikarifai has done at the state and uh, where he got it right, I'm sure there will be continuity. As human, he has made some mistake as well and uh, this mistake will be corrected because he is the one that even said it himself that where he is wrong, uh, they should ensure that they correct it so that uh, people will have the best of democracy. He has held successfully the roles of the National Vice Chairman, North, 
of Campaign for Democracy CD and Deputy National Chairman North of the Joint Action Committee, Jakon, led by the legendary Chief Ghani Fawahimi San. Sani went into politics fully after the return of democracy in Nigeria in 1999 and supported the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, Chief Olushagun Obasanjo, conceivably due to his outstanding records. Sani was appointed Special Advisor on Public Affairs to the President. He also worked at the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, on some advisory roles to the then FCT Minister, Malam Nasser Ahmed Erufai, and the Kaduna State Ministry of Housing and Works. If you look at his record as the Senator representing Zone 2, you'll find out that uh, in the history of the Senate in Kaduna, we've never gotten a Senator that has so many achievements in terms of uh, interventions, capital projects, and uh, sponsoring bills. So when he got elected as the next governor of Kaduna State, he and uh, his running mate, inshallah, uh, that will be one of the uh, wonderful combinations. Just like Malam Masaram and Fai and his deputy Adil Sabobalarim. Ubasani established the Ubasani Foundation in 2018 with the mission of using available resources and expertise to provide assistance to the less privileged, gain increased access to healthcare, good education, vocational skills, and empowerment. In 2011, Ubasani was appointed by the Kaduna State Governor, Malam Nasir Ahmed El Rufai, as the Special Advisor, Political and Intergovernmental Affairs. As part of his efforts to discharge in his senatorial duties, Ubasani has sponsored over 30 bills on the floor of the Senate of Nigeria, among which are the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria Act Amendment Bill 2021, which have both become acts after being assented to by President Muhammadu Buhari in November 2020 and November 2021, respectively. I believe um, this is such a dynamic uh, combination uh, because of the kind of characters and uh, discipline that the two candidates uh, possess. And um, it's my honest belief, as a strong party man and a patriotic citizen of uh, Kaduna State, that definitely with the combination we have of Senator Malam Ubasani and Dr. Hadiza Sabo Abalarabi as his deputy, um, Kaduna State is going to witness the much touted consolidation of political and democratic gains. Um, that has been um, talked about in the center and the campaign. All the bills sponsored by the senator are at different levels of legislative progression, such as committee level. Some have been passed by the Senate and also awaiting concurrence by the House of Representatives. More to mention are the University of Technology Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2019, Federal College of Education, Giwa Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2019, Federal Medical Center, Rigasa Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2019, Federal College of Forestry Technology and Research, Burnangwari Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2019, which passed second reading at the Senate, Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Kaduna South Establishment Bill 2020, NDLEA Act Cap No. 3, LFN 2004 Amendment Bill 2020, State Police Service Commission Establishment Bill 2020, Agricultural and Rural Management Training Institute, Chukung Establishment Bill 2021, and many more. Ubasani has an experience in managing the public affairs. He was an activist politician for excellent. Uh, he was a somebody that has an open mind who has vast interaction with different people or diverse uh, interest groups within the state and even beyond. So I think the popularity of Malang Obasani will create a very, very soft ground for the contest of APC and other political parties in the state. So to me, uh, sincerely speaking, it, it was a rational decision 
for the state government and for the APC as a party to uh, choose Malam Obasan and Sabwa Balarabi to represent the party for the contest of general election. As part of his senatorial duties to carrying out the developmental service to his people, Obasani has in the last three and a half years been able to execute developmental projects across the senatorial zone to include installation of solar street lights to 22 locations across Kaduna North, construction of solar-powered motorized borehole, 10,000 liters of overhead tank at six locations such as Angwendosa, Nanet, Rafinguza, Sabunkau, and many more. He also constructed and equipped ICT Center at Government Senior Secondary School, former Kaduna Teachers College, Kao Kaduna North Local Government Area, construction of hand pump borehole at Rafinguza and Haimbenki Kao Cemetery, supply and installation of 500 kVA transformer at Nanet Community Sabun Kao, construction of neighborhood sports center at Government Secondary School Kao. Extension of electricity and installation of 300 kVA transformer at Meburji Ward, Badarawa. Donation of 500 kVA transformer at Jinya Road by Kanta Road. Construction of nurses' quarters, renovation and equipping Zakari Isa Primary Healthcare Center, and construction and equipping of skill acquisition center, to mention but a few. The east of politicians to the court. So when you look at the blending, you have a technocrat here, you have a politician, and we are expecting a better and best result. Senator Ubasani's representation in the Senate is also largely seen as a continuation of his love and passion for service to humanity as a human rights and pro democracy activist, businessman, and philanthropist. His devotion to helping people has endeared him to a lot of people in Kaduna State and indeed several Nigerians. In 2019, Sani showed interest and contested for the second time the Kaduna Central Senatorial seat under the ruling political party, All Progressives Congress APC, and was elected senator. With uh, Obasani on board, that believes also in uh, the development of the of the state, and then coupled with the experience of the deputy governor, I am sure we will see much more development and then continuity because it is all about uh, sustainability. Most of the administrations we have seen, when a new administration comes, uh, developments are abandoned, projects are abandoned, new ones are adopted. But this time around, we are looking at consolidating what we have been done before, and then they will continue with what they have started. So very soon, I'm sure Kaduna will be something new. Kaduna will be something we'll all be proud of, inshallah. I'm always proud to be part of this developmental process. The dedication, selflessness, style of leadership, and transparency has moved the attention of people in the state to calling him for yet another contest. But this time, the governorship in the state. As such, Ubasani picked in 2022 the APC nomination forms for the 2023 gubernatorial election in Kaduna State. To make the team complete, Senator Ubasani picked Dr. Hadiza Sabua Balarebe, whose capacity has been tested and trusted as his running mate for the seat of gubernatorial seat in Kaduna State, the heart of northern Nigeria and the center of learning for the 2023 elections. Perhaps this confluence is not for just a cause, but for a remarkable trace, looking to the exemplary character of his candidacy. Yeah, I'm very much sure I'm convinced that the candidate of the APC is the person of Malo Obasani and uh, Hagia Hadidah Sabo Balarabi, our doctor, uh, are the best candidate to get in the state. So we know that we are the people who come out and mass and vote for the APC candidate. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that at the end of the day, we will have the best in all of them.
the meritorious journey of Our Excellency, Dr. Hadiza Sabwa Balaribi began right from her school days. Born to the family of Alhaji Abu Bakar Balaribi of Sangha Local Government Area of Kaduna State in 1966, she attended Girls College Suba for her secondary education, after which she studied medicine from the prestigious University of Meduguri Unimade and graduated with NBBS in 1986. The current deputy governor, as we are aware, she is uh, somebody that uh, had worked with Malam for, uh, for about uh, three years and above. And uh, we know that uh, the two of them had uh, worked tirelessly in improving the living standard in Kaduna State. They have completely transformed Kaduna State to uh, my local people who say to our own London. Because those of us that grew up in Kaduna, we know what we Kaduna was and we know what Kaduna had been transformed to be. We have seen uh, you know, giant developmental strides in road constructions, in uh, transforming schools, and uh, um, learning standard for conducive learning standard for the students in education in the health sector we have seen the 255 clinics uh, built and uh, this was started during the time of uh, Dr. Sabo Valarabi when she was the ES of uh, primary health care agency then and um, the transformation of the health sector the transformation of the educational sector the transformation of other sectors especially social sectors of the economy too. Total, uh, the system itself completely has seen a transformation. As a Nigerian politician and previously a medical doctor, Dr. Hadiza Sabua Balarebe served as the Executive Secretary of the Kaduna State Primary Healthcare Development Agency. A spectacular performance at the Primary Healthcare Agency stood her out as the best pick of the basket. She was a senior registrar at the Ahmadubello University Teaching Hospital before joining the services of the Federal Capital Territory FCT in 2004 before deputizing the incumbent governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir Ahmed Erufai. After the edge cuttings, the avant-garde who took the groundbreaking novel decision of projecting a woman to the position of a gubernatorial running mate in Kaduna State were embarked on an uncharted path. They were pioneers with a daunting mission of engendering a paradigm shift from the old conservative political tradition that situated leadership within the framework of faith, gender and other elemental mindsets to the hair matter. Our mother, our sister, she is a technician. Her doctorship is not academic. That is her profession. She read it in the school and she is a qualified doctor. With his trademark attraction to intelligent goal getters, the daring, innovative, gender friendly, and ebullient Erufai will naturally be very comfortable with Dr. Hadiza Balarabe as his running mate, of course. The decision was with most Erufai's seeming weird decisions and actions was not one that was haphazardly done, but a cold, scientifically calculated political strategy, which contrary to the pessimism in some quarters, resulted in a resounding victory at the end of the tunnel. If you have a very good advisor, if you have a very good advisor, you will be successful. He has been an advisor and they have been successful. Therefore, it's a very good combination and I'm proud of that. Evidently, Hadiza Sabuwa Balarebe is yet one of the few iconic characters that broke even not just amongst the female folks, but even the male counterparts in so far her political journey in northern Nigeria. To set the ball rolling, Balarebe became the first deputy governor of Kaduna State democratically elected during the February 2019 general elections under the undisputed All Progressives Congress APC. As part of her giant strides as acting governor, Dr. Hadiza had on the 15th October 2019 presented the Kaduna State Government's 2020 Budget of Renewal to the Kaduna State House of Assembly, thereby becoming the first woman in northern Nigeria to do so under this democratic journey.
da mun tabbatar da cewa da uba sani da haji hadiri samu balare bai duk irin da mai abubuwan da mai girma gonin jahar kado ne ya su dora kai ko kuma ma su fiye da haka muna musu fatan alheri muna fatan Allah ya ba mu lafiya da zaman lafiya da wannan Ubasani picked her excellency Dr. Hadiza Sabuwa Balarebe as his running mate in 2023 for gubernatorial seat in Kaduna State. The statement reads, Dr. Balarebe has demonstrated hard work, punctuality, dedication and team spirit in the discharge of her responsibility as deputy governor, which has endeared her to the critical stakeholders in Kaduna State. The groundbreaking representative of people has enormously liberated many NGOs and women groups in the state and across Nigeria, hosting series of strategies to revamp social inclusion of women and girls, not just in governance but other aspects of life like healthcare, education, and women's rights. So far so good. Dr. Hadiza Balarebe has contributed enormously to the giant strides recorded by the Malam Nasser Erufai's administration in infrastructure and human capital development. Our expectation is uh, very high, knowing both of them and uh, working closely with them and uh, knowing what they have for the state, what they want to offer. I'm sure the people of Kaduna State will appreciate them and uh, just like what Malam is doing, making Kaduna great and uh, greater, I'm sure we will definitely like what they will offer. We are going to witness the consolidation of democratic gains. We are going to witness um, a governorship candidacy or a governorship tenure that is going to be focus on um, delivering the goods that have already been laid down and um, that is going to build on the foundations that have already been set by the now um, outgoing administration of Malin Nasser Ahmed al in such a way that uh, one would be tempted to say that Kaduna State is going to be a model of governance and um, continuity in governance um, in the Fourth Republic in the entire Federal Republic of Nigeria. My expectation and indeed general expectation for the people of Kaduna State is positive simply because we are all confident that the candidate has capacity to manage the affairs of Kaduna State. Uh, we are facing a lot of challenges as a state, as a party, that uh, we believe uh, with the emergence of Malam Obasani as gubernatorial candidate, uh, the quality is soft, and we are confident indeed that we will definitely win the election by the grace of God. Conceivably, this is what gave birth to the new phase of her next political journey to continue with the developmental projects already installed across the state. The has uh, is going to leave a legacy that uh, it will take a very long time for somebody to be able to emulate that. Everybody, everywhere. In fact, if you travel outside Kaduna State and you tell people you are from Kaduna, people will look at you and say, ah, you have a very good governor that has passion of his people at heart. There are so many uh, uh, leadership qualities that he has exhibited, which uh, I'm sure by the time he leaves office, the people of Kaduna State will definitely miss Mala. Uh, I have uh, worked with Malam and uh, knowing what Malam and his ambition I know. Definitely will cry when Malam uh, left. There are so many projects in the state, not only in one local government, but across the 23 local government. Uh, Mal Nasser Ahmed al like I said, has laid down the foundation um, for Malam Ubasani to come and fly. Like, um, it is being widely said around town, like Malam say Malam, he believes that Mal Nasser Ahmed al worked in order for Malam Ubasani to run, and uh, we hope that uh, uh, the state will continue to go in some and bounds. The legacies that Malam Nasu Erupai has left behind in the state 
we will continue to be remembered uh, forever. I used to say Erufai is a Sardona of the 21st century. He has done a lot. He has laid a solid foundation for rehabilitation and reconstruction of new Kaduna states. Uh, what we are witnessing in terms of infrastructural development, in terms of reforms uh, that is taking place in Kaduna today is quite commendable. And we are very proud as people to produce somebody like him. The people will appreciate him and what he has done. There will be legacy for people to see and emulate. And I just pray, as he is bowing out, God will place him in a better position. Surprisingly, the lady emerged the running mate to Senator Ubasani in the 2023 Kaduna State gubernatorial seat for striking the record of these two exemplary, iconic, groundbreaking and politically unraveled candidates whose devotions is measured only by the need of their people is what their priority. Ubasani, for instance, donated 20 million to Kaduna market traders campaigned in southern Kaduna zone of the state and central zone of the state and also participated in other activities, many of which are on infrastructural transformation of the state from his personal account. Unlike in the past, where much was generated but very few developmental projects were executed, this promising team of leaders who have been tested and trusted is the best for a civilized society like Kaduna State, as gone are the days when public funds were used for personal projects. It is then important to say, seeing now believes, and action speaks louder than voice. Indeed, this is a great opportunity for the good people of Kaduna State to make the best choice in choosing not just the right candidate, but the very best amongst the rest.